Welcome to One Heart, One Song, a program of Jamaican musicians, composers, and singers. I am your host, Godfrey Taylor, and my guest today is a man with enough eyes. Uh, not in the way you think of it. You just go by the name Vijan, Jonathan Garth. Welcome, Jonathan. It's so glad to be here. It's a privilege and really grateful to be here. Now, this is a man with plenty of faith. As mm. you will hear later on in the story, I'm gone to Trinidad, um, uh, a follow back of something. Um, but <laughs> he says, we still believe. So let's listen to that track. This one is for the saints, the remnant. Uh, welcome to the 21st century. Yeah, we highly advanced in technology. Kudos to the nerds in the Ivy Leagues. Make a life a little easier for you and me. Welcome to the 21st century Where the truth is now the new hate speech And it's now cool to be an atheist But you're labeled a fool if your faith you preach But there's still saints calling his name Still thugs and hood rats lives been changed Still the healing of the blind and lame Still cancers going out in Jesus name Still missionaries going to the ends of the earth And millions finding new births right. The kingdom's expanding despite what you heard The yeah. generations rising uh, in love with yeah. words Century, where we're living our lives on a BB iPhone, Galaxy, HTC No need for a home phone or TV But welcome to the 21st century Where pornography is not your biggest industry Popular music promotes promiscuity And cable television, homosexuality But there's still saints fighting for their purity Young men who appreciate virginity Young females who still love chivalry You won't give it up until he gets down on one knee Artists who won't sell the souls Passing up that deal for the streets to go Yeah, we pilgrims on earth and heaven's our home Yeah, we keep in the faith until the trumpet blows Gone Some might mock us, some might laugh at us, but the Bible says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you. All right, Jonathan, tell me now, where you come from? Well, I'm from Jamaica, man, Kingstonian, Bonatone. My parents, you can say I come from a textbook Christian home, you know? Yes. So my parents actually met at seminary in JTS. Mm-hmm. They uh, got married. Uh, and they are who, by the way? My father is Reverend Dr. Peter Garth, mm-hmm. and my mom is Flora, Mrs. Flora Garth. Yeah, but before she was what? She was Hanson. Okay, and that's coming from which parish? Well, Manchester. So we have to shout out all the peoples them from Manchester, mm-hmm. especially those who know the original father Hanson, eh? Yes, yes. Yeah. She's daughter of Reverend Seymour Hanson. Yes, and that oh. is the family that is known in missionary circles. Right, he's like a column in the missionary church, yes. you know, he's... he's Gone on, you know, rest yes. in peace. So yeah, come from a Christian home, grandfather is a pastor, mom dad is a pastor, uh, one or two uncles that are also in ministry. Mm-hmm. So definitely exposed to the gospel and I know church, I know church culture, I grew up in it, yes. you know. Any siblings? Yeah man, I have, I have a sister, Charlene, well now Campert, she lives in Boston. So she get married and moved on? Yes, yes, she, she got married to an American, Mark. And you get married. And, oh, sorry, welcome to that story. Well, I don't know. Peter and Flo, why may I tell you? And, yes, yes. Continue your story, sir. So from a Christian home, well, in terms of music, my parents put me into piano from, I was like five years old. I went up to like grade four in piano, but then stopped. A decision I kind of regret. <laughs> well, yeah. all my friends from high school, when they hear me play, them say, boy, you know how much we would have liked to play, but it's life. Yeah, yeah. But it served me well. It carried me to a point where I, at one point I was producing and, and making tracks and, and stuff. Um, but I went to Vals Prep. I would say one of my most favorite periods in my school life. I went to Vals Prep and then I went on to Campion College, which I'm grateful for. I did have some sport talent coming from Vals. So sometimes 
I don't want to say I regret going Campion, but you know, Campion is a is a book school. Yes. You know? uh, and well, and, uh, they used to have a four hundred meter runner, I think. I was long distance. Yeah. Well, I know of Theon. You know, Theon. at one point. Yeah. Um, and they kind of gotten a little better over the years, but during my time, well, I I love football coming into Campion. And and I usually get some plenty big number love. <laughs> I, have, I have no comments. <laughs> But um, just to go back into my childhood, obviously exposed to Christian theology from early, and I believe I made a decision for Christ from quite early. I can't remember the exact age, but probably like seven or eight, and then I got baptized at 10 years old. But the truth is, from a very young age, I always had a lot of questions, mm -hmm. you know, like highly philosophical questions just running around in my mind, but I didn't really voice them to anybody, particularly because... I don't want to sound old, but from my time, you feel like you shouldn't ask certain questions and then I'm the pastor's son. So, you so instead like, of question, like, you're supposed to have answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were always there. Then when you come into teen years, you know, that's the time where things start to get like a cloudy in terms of how you're thinking and the time when you start to try to find an identity. Well, my experience, I feel like for the pastor's kid, that whole struggle almost is a bit magnified by times five. <laughs> I know? agree with you. As another <laughs> preacher's kid, I agree with you. Yeah, so those stresses mentally at that time, I kind of strayed and started to rebel on a certain level. But when I say rebel, it wasn't like I was out there going parties and with girls and smoking and drinking. But definitely my heart turned away from God. I never denied his existence. But at one point, I just never wanted to have anything to do with church and Christianity. I stopped talking to my parents, stopped talking to my father. Um, that was my rebellion, a rebellion of silence. <laughs> but when you've grown up with so much truth and exposed to so much truth, and I'm really summarizing here, it, it comes back. And what happened in my time of turning away, I just started to look around me and observe people and my friends or people that I thought that were my friends. And the scriptures literally just started to come to life in front of my face. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't deny it. On New Year's Eve, you now in my house, you have to go to watch night service. Yes. But I would reached a point where church had become like nothing to me. Like hearing the sermon, it was like, you know, I hear this all the time and, and it never really meant much. But I'd reached a point where I realized I need to deal with myself. And I told my parents, I'm not going to watch night. They were upset and thing, particularly my dad. But <laughs> I stayed home and I prayed to the Lord, which had been a while. And I opened up my Bible and I was led to a certain scripture, which I have as my favorite Bible scripture. It's um, 1 John 2, verses 16 and 17, which says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. And depending on the version Bible you have, it says the world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God abides forever, lives forever. Basically what had been happening to me because I'd been observing my surroundings. For instance, I grew up with some dudes in my community who, I mean, on the face of it, some decent dudes, some of them parents are Christians, but in high school, you know, like they became the popular kids and then the things that popular kids do. And one time I watched them from a distance party for like a whole week. I never go to the party, you know, but then the following week, the whole of them sick out for the whole week. And I said to myself, that can't be it. That can't be real life. That don't make sense. Mm -hmm. So when I say like the scripture, the starter, you know, I get, get real understanding from applying what I've seen. But thank God for his grace and his mercy. And I always say that the greatest miracle is salvation. Because I remember how I used to think and my thoughts towards Christianity and church. And the 180 degree turn that happened is just miraculous. Me and my father, relationship restored. We're good now. We watch basketball together. And after that, a real fire and passion was just in me for the Lord. Well, we're going to listen to another piece of music after that solid word. For those of you who feel that you are making your choice to move away from what used to be your normal and your questioning, nothing is wrong with questioning. We know that God going to bring you to the right place if mm -hmm. you listen to him. So we're going to listen to this track, One Gone is Too Many. How did that song come about? You know, I've always had a heart for my country, my nation, Jamaica. And when things happen, it kind of affect me in a special way. But there was an incident that happened, I don't know if you remember, a couple of years ago, when a JC student got on a bus and he was stabbed for a cell phone oh, and he yes. died. So one of the main inspirations behind the song was actually that event. And the first verse, I kind of mentioned it. But more than that, it's just the fact that in Jamaica, we've kind of grown numb to this crime, yeah. to murder. 
And it's something that we should never really grow numb to. Every man, every boy, every girl, every woman, they're made in the image and the likeness of God. No matter where you come from, whether it's Narbrook, whether it's wherever, every man has value. And when you cut down the image of God, it's a great disrespect to heaven. So it's basically saying that every life is important and is made in the image and likeness of God. And if one of them comes to naught by some nefarious means, it is one too many. So let's right. listen to One Gone is Too Many. Yo, do not. Yo. Things sit away in a star. Yo, my seat, brother. Like the man them dead from value in life. Can't believe all women and pick me the man them a kill star. Can't sit down and listen up. You start it then, no? Cause one gun is too many Yes to the father we are come mm -hmm. Say the city getting too bloody Here another mother she about Cause one gun is too many Only 14 years old boy did that but sat to school <laughs> Never knew his final moments they will come so soon <laughs> Here comes that vampire no long teeth but he had a two <laughs> And he cut down all the hopes and dreams of the innocent youth Stabs of a knife in broad daylight The people in sight they froze in fright Losing his life for cheap merchandise Huh? That was the price? Tell me who gave you right to make a man live or make a man die <laughs> Tell me who made you judge to sentence a man into the next life <laughs> A constant sequel, my country gripped by evil And many they pass ignore until it comes home and knocks at the door But every man has value made in the image and likeness of God See, when you take a man out, you're dissing the heavenly father Lord of mercy Cause one God is too many Yes to the father we are come Say the city getting too bloody Here another mother she about Cause one gun is too many Too many tears, too many cries for too many years Too many, too many cares, too many lies, too many fears Too many, too many tears, too many cries for too many years Too many, too many tears, too many lies, too many fears One more dead, one more dead, one more you get led in a end Vengeance red, vengeance red, no matter how the families are all and a beg People are dead, people are dead, the money with the rifle around the place red Three year old left dead, panic on Couple shot to the head Them a man and an art Oppressed so long Evil take over them talk Kill the baby pan the breast We can't even talk Make him dumb I eat them every to walk No more SK, HK, AK rifle All of them guns that we use Them a stifle Three year old rape to cure eight Can't believe them kill Miss Michael Cause one gun is too many Yes to the father we are come mm -hmm. Say the city getting too bloody Here another mother she about Cause one gun is too many Too many tears, too many cries for too many years Too many, too many cares, too many lies, too many fears Too many, too many tears, too many cries for too many years if you've just joined us, you're listening to One Heart, One Song. I am Godfrey Taylor, and so far I've been sharing the airwaves with our good friend, Jonathan Garth, known mm. better in music circles as Vijan. We've already heard his favorite scripture verse, but I would love to share for you his favorite scripture verse from the Jamaica New Testament, nice. and that is 1 John 2, verse 16 and 17. All of the sitting them in the world, the way you know what to do, all kind of wrong sitting. The sitting them we on a ready eye for. And how on a love for boast about what we have. Them not come from the Father. Them sitting they come from the world. The world and all of the wicked sitting them in a it a go away. But all of the people them we do what God want them to do. We live forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I like how that's on. Now we're going to listen to another music from Bridgen. Mm -hmm. And this music title... Waiting, I you know, say I come to that story there. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> L O V E, such a mystery sometimes. But I know when it all comes together, it will be beautiful. Life is such a funny thing, yes Everyone searches for their queen or their king, yeah Someone who will always be there In times of laughter and in times of tears No lie, for me it's still the same 
Hoping to find someone My name she will claim Hear them saying With time me a play But yeah you know my heart And me not go astray A woman of virtue to stand by my side She fears the Lord Yes we spiritually inclined When I look at her I get dreamy eyed Have to praise the almighty For her wonderful physical design So sweet she knows so I like lime No idle hands Yes, she always on that grind Words of wisdom coming from her tongue No lies But till that day yeah, I guess I'm waiting For love to find me Someone to call my own Who will be my wifey Waiting For love to find Sent by the Father in His perfect time, I'm awaiting. I guess I'm awaiting. Summer Virgin, talk to me. What was you waiting for? Well, listen, explains it, you know. This waiting is about waiting for the right person, waiting for the wife. Mm-hmm. And for a woman, is waiting for a husband, a real man. All right. Right, 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 right. I mean, if I give a little understanding behind the song why I wrote it, I saw my love. Well, I actually wrote the song almost, I think it was just in one night. There was a situation where there was somebody I had interest in, but basically, long story short, they kind of both me. It wasn't uh, mutual. <laughs> and out of that disappointment, I kind of penned this song. But it was also an encouragement to myself. That waiting is not necessarily a bad thing, eh? Right, right. It's not a bad thing. All right. So let me jump now into the love story. Mm-hmm. Like, my peeps, you don't know some love a love story. You know? <laughs> and this is one you're at. So that was not the lady now. It's a different lady we are talking about, right? It's a different lady, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how did you meet this different lady? I attended the University of the West Indies. And during that time, I was a part of a group called Campus Crusade for Christ. And I kept ties with the group after leaving university. So they would have like Christmas parties sometime and I'd come and, and stuff. So this young woman, my now wife, this is oh. Kimberly Garth, then Kimberly Perrot. She came to Jamaica for like three years and she works with Campus Crusade for Christ for many years. So we met at a Christmas party. This is around 2011, 2012 or so. But there was, there was nothing, well, there's a point where I was trying to kind of find out where her head is at in terms mm-hmm. of it, towards relationships and stuff. But the Jesus wall was right, you know, between us. I think she was just zoned in. Yes. That, that was my perception. Yes. Later on, I, I come to find out, she says that back then, if she saw a guy who was attractive or so, she kind of would have shut down and she was, you know. She so, wanted to God work. Yeah. But I interpreted it as, all right, she, she just into Jesus now and stuff. Mm-hmm. Plus somebody gave me some wrong information that she had somebody else back home in Chile. So I just left it. But we kept in touch through Facebook after she left Jamaica and went back to Trinidad. And there was a respect and a, some level of friendship that developed. And we would talk like, you know, probably once or twice for the year over Messenger. And the conversation was really good. And I just always had a huge respect and admiration for her because of, you know, her passion for the Lord, her stance on certain things in regard to purity. And how she just generally is. She has a very happy spirit and people love her. But she also has very strong convictions. And it just so happened, 2016 into 2017, just one of those times again where we just kind of managed to talk. And, and, and that time, though, we were like older and more mature. And, you know, it's like a, in that conversation, I said, well, you know, I one time I did kind of like you and thing. And we laugh and stuff. But then we continued talking. And you never get boof. No, I never get boof. Praise right? <laughs> So we start talking you know, on WhatsApp and, and, and stuff. And the moment I got some kind of hint that she could actually like me, boy, it's like I, I put my foot in the door and I wasn't going to dry it out. That door not <laughs> by you, my old. Yeah, as we were talking before, and you know, I don't believe in Cupid, but it's almost like God zapped me with a love juice yes. for this woman. And it's like I just knew that she was the one. And practically, there are some things that I had prayed about that I want in a wife and... She has them. Plus some other things I never thought about. And I see the wisdom of God. Yes. You know, how he chooses your partner. But it's, it was quite a wait, you know, but well worth it. She's a, an amazing person. Yes, yes. I admire her um, a lot. My peeps, 
You see, you can't just leave everything in God's hands. Yes. I think it was Cleve Grant many years ago who asked a set of girls in a girls' school about their husbands. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, these are high school girls. <laughs> he said, well, chances are if you're going to get a husband, he's already alive. You can pray for him from now. True. You know, so I'm talking to some of us who might not yet be married. And mm -hmm. you can pray for your spouse that you don't know the person who it is yet. Mm -hmm. And God will be there. So let's listen to the choice that my <laughs> guest made. And he cut a tune. Uh, and this tune you started writing before you had met her. Yeah, I started writing this song before I met her. I wrote the first verse before I met her. And then when we started to talk, I completed the song. But the funny thing is that the first verse is as if it was prophetic. Like you everything. were looking at her when you were writing it, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, because everything came true in a sense. And for me, if people have been following my music over the years, it's like I, I write from a real place. So if I'm in a season of where I'm pursuing somebody and, and I've found love, you might hear a song coming out of that. I know sometimes, you know, in the Christian circles, they're funny about love songs or so, but hey, songs are Solomon worse than this. <laughs> well, Kimberly, you hear what the man say about you? The man say what? I choose you. Girl, it's been a long time coming. Now you're here in front of me. And I'm in front of you. There's something I'd like to ask you. Ooh. Mm, I never saw this coming, no. We were just friends. Until that day I saw that sparkle in your eyes. I confess, it caught me by surprise. All this time, I forever was in disguise. And now the truth has bloomed and I realize that we Got a firm foundation, we've been patient, yeah, we rated To know a love so sacred is found in faith and so amazing I want you to be my lady, have my baby How you've changed me into a better man I'm down on my knees, I ain't playing, girl See, I was wondering if I could be a forever I promise to love you, girl. I choose you. Yes, I was wondering if I could be a forever. I promise to love you, girl. I choose you. Funny how life it goes. Some girls I wanted, they said no. But I kept faith still hopeful until you came and glowed. A smile in your eyes, I see I'm confident that you love me and I love you Girl, you know it's true So let us walk this life, girl, hand in hand Yes, God will be your guide and Him be a stand I promise to protect you, provide The truth from you i never hide this is our season, this is our time Baby girl, won't you be my wife? Alright Jonathan, mm -hmm. quickly now About your music, where are you headed to with your music? Alright, so my aim right now I'm trying to put together at least an EP Ideally I'd want to do an album But before I left Jamaica and went to Trinidad, I did, I did a lot of recording and I'm still writing Just have a few songs to finish up And put that together all of this is by faith. By faith and not by cash. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we need funds. Yes. You, you need funds. And the thing is, most people don't realize music is a, it's, it's an expensive venture. Mm -hmm. But by faith, I will complete the project. And uh, as I said earlier, I've always had a heart for the nation. And it, it is songs geared towards, I don't want to say just Jamaica, but also like as, as the body of, body of Christ. But also songs that, People who don't know or do nothing to, to, to Jesus, they can be drawn to it, they can relate to it. So my peeps, you know, I always encourage you, don't teach the people the music, but mm -hmm. you will use the music from wherever it is and pay for it. So when the songs become available, you can go and find them. I'm sure you will find them um, digitally on the, on the net. Yeah, so to find my music, you can check um, my YouTube channel. And my vision is spelled V-I-J-O-N. So if you search for V-I-J-O-N music, 
My handle across all of my social media is Vision Music. So that's V I J O N M U S I C. So it is Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can find my stuff there. I have one gone, it's too many for sale on iTunes and other platforms. And Country should also be um, available soon. So, my peeps, support the musicians who make the music so that they can put out more music. Right. Jonathan, Mr. Vijan himself, God, <laughs> yes, thanks sir. very much for having come and share the Pleasure time. Pleasure being us. here, man. Thanks. He used to be a little banker once upon a time. But we won't <laughs> years tell another whole story many years ago. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to One Heart, One Song. Please share your thoughts on the program with us by sending us an email message at oneheartonesong at hotmail.com. Some people have let me know that they listen, and I want to give a shout out to one of our regular listeners, Doreen Ferron Booth. She's a faithful, beloved listener, and she agrees with my shout out to the University Hospital senior nurse, Sister Wilson with the blue belt. And Doreen used to wear the lace cap once upon a time too. Bless up, listener Ferran Booth and Nurse Wilson. Yeah, man, right now I just want to send some shout outs to my, my engineer for many years, Elijah, big up yourself. Big up, don't miss. Big up, Ariana White and DJ Sticker on my latest release, Country. I want to send a shout out also to my church fam, Hope Gospel Assembly in Ligani. Love you all. And big up those in Trinidad, my new friends, St. Augustine Evangelical and Campus Crusade for Christ. In Trinidad, big up. Yeah, man, much love. And a big word of thanks to the sponsors of today's broadcast, RJR. Yeah, so right now you're going to hear my new song, my latest release. It's called Country. It features Ariana White and DJ Sticko, a message of hope, yeah, a message about the hope that we have, heaven. Another feature, Ariana, a vision under my car. We know where we go, man. <laughs> All right. Everywhere war and turmoil. Recession in liquor, your dream them get spoiled. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The money where you earn, fever cup of kind. Uh-huh. And your pity party, you warm if you come dry. No, no. But no way, see, I'm going to a country, yeah, where there'll be no pain, no tears, just glory. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yes, I'm going to a country. Taxes, just love is the currency. Yeah. And you can go to if you really wanna be there. Just accept the lot, no, don't you have it? He'll give you life eternal. And if from your sins you turn and up in heaven, yeah, you'll be right there. Praise and peace. set on him, but now you don't know what to do, you got a lot of anger deep inside of you, but there's a man that I know, and I'd like to introduce you, he's preparing a country, yeah, where there'll be no pain, no tears, just glory, This certain place is not our home. Yeah, we alien come from a different zone. Longing for the day where we no longer have the phone.